Well, nearly three weeks after surviving a crash that killed her parents and grandparents in Mexico, a 12-year-old girl here from Waimama is back in the Bay Area. That is Jasmine Cervantes Garcia, the sole survivor of that crash. She's now being treated at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete. And Fox 13 Jenny Lewis is live outside the hospital with her journey from home to home from where she was. Uh, what a trip for her. We, so many of us are wishing her the best here, Janae. Mark, it has certainly been a journey filled with many tears for this family from the moment they learned the news of that horrible crash. But today, everyone shed tears of joy when that medical flight landed in Tampa from Mexico. The family says Jasmine can now finally get the care that she needs and deserves as she begins that long road to recovery. Joyful tears. This is what it is. It's just joyful tears because I went and got off my knees home. It hasn't been easy to get to this point in their journey. It's one that started June 23rd while part of the family vacationed in Mexico. Four family members died when a charter bus crashed into their pickup head on. It happened as they were headed back home. The only survivor was Jasmine Cervantes Garcia. The 12 year old lost her parents and grandparents in that crash. Yeah, they're going to be missed in the community. Just, you know, here in Texas, all, all over the place in Mexico, they, they, were, they were loved. Since then, getting Jasmine home has been their sole motivation. She was in a hospital in Mexico, but the family says they weren't happy with the care she was receiving. They've worked to raise money for a medical flight to All Children's Hospital, and they finally accomplished that mission today. Where I talked to the paramedics on, on the flight, they're going to start from scratch. What was done over there, what's done over there, this is a new chapter for Jasmine and us. Now focused on a treatment plan for her severe injuries, so far she hasn't been able to speak, but the family sees glimpses of hope. I said, Jasmine, do you know who I am? Blink once, she blinked. You know I'm here for you. Can you squeeze my hand? She squeezed it. But we, we do know that she's moving her hand, she's moving her legs, so we're hoping um, everything is okay with her. She could be her normal self when she gets fully healed. And they will continue to be there for her, to fight for her, no matter what else comes their way. She um, is a survivor for a reason. And we're, we're strong for her. It hurts, but we're strong for her. And this family has shown an immense amount of strength and a great deal of tragedy. They are now hoping Jasmine makes a full recovery so she can get back to playing volleyball and doing all of the things that she's grown to know and love. And she is now finally in the best place to get the care that she needs to do so. Mark, you just can't help but root for this family and all that they have gone through. There's no doubt about that. So many people thinking about her and going to be uh, here for her journey along the way. Her, uh, it's going to be a long road, but it uh, looks like she has a great support system all the way around her. Janae, thanks.